please take your seats. Welcome to the Future of Fashion, featuring the 2017 Graduates Collection. Please welcome to the stage the president of the Fashion Institute of Technology, Dr. Joyce F. Brown. Good evening. Good evening and welcome. It really is my pleasure to be able to welcome you to FIT's annual runway show, The Future of Fashion. So with this show, we celebrate the work of very gifted students, a group of graduating fashion design students. They are among the 10,000 full and part-time students who attend FIT today. And you know, despite the name of this college, fashion design is not our only program. I try to make this point wherever I go because in fact, we offer such a rich and comprehensive array of programs. There's almost 50 of them, in fact. And all of them prepare our students for careers in the creative industries, either on the design or on the business side. And they range from cosmetics marketing to computer animation, toy design to textile development, photography to fashion business management. However, our signature, our signature is fashion design. It's our calling card, not only here in New York, but all over the world, in Thailand and Turkey and China and Italy, all those places, their educational institutions call upon us to provide expertise to their developing fashion programs. So when people think of fashion education, they think of FIT. So it's here that such fashion luminaries as Calvin Klein and Dennis Basso and Francisco and Nanette Lepore and Michael Kors and Norma Kamali, Isabel Toledo, Ralph Rucci, ever so many more, they all got their start right here. Our students spend their time here refining and developing their individual design talents and sensibilities under the guidance of FIT's committed faculty. And tonight, they demonstrate all that they have learned. But before we begin, I want to take a moment to thank our very elite group of critics and judges who gave so much of their personal time and expertise to our students as they developed our collections. Our critics this year were Peter Dew from Derek Lamb, Chris Galenas, Flora Gill from Ona Tito, Sander Lake from Cies Marjan, Victoria Lamborn from Tory Birch, Morgan Lane, Eric Reckner from WGSN, Kara Subag from Karen Subag Couture, Sophie Thalay, uh, and Isabella Tonki. Our judges were Ken Downing from Neiman Marcus, Kemal Harris, the celebrity stylist, Nicole Phelps, director of Vogue Runway, Diana Tsui from New York Magazine, and Liliana Vasquez, TV stylist and host. And each and every one of our judges and critics is truly a great, great friend of FIT and a great source of inf inspiration for our students. And I'm very proud to say that some of them are alums. So we are very grateful to you for taking on what I know was a time-consuming task, but you did it all so graciously and willingly, and we so appreciate that. I want to offer special thanks to Calvin Klein. Calvin is an FIT alum whose devotion to our students and their success and to this runway show has really been exceptional. It's thanks to the generosity of his personal foundation, the Calvin Klein Family Foundation, and to Calvin Klein Incorporated that our runway show has the support that it needs for many years to come. Calvin Klein Incorporated is one of our longtime friends, a company that has employed many of our alumni, and they provide priceless internships to our students as well. And it's really quite clear that their leaders understand the link between education and industry, and we are very, very grateful to them for their support. I want to also thank Optimity Advisors, our innovation sponsor. Indeed, a new sponsor that specializes in the field of innovation. And for my money, one of their most impressive innovations is available right in your hands. 
It's the Future of Fashion app that you downloaded if you followed the directions of your augmented reality experience with Liliana Vasquez. I hope you all did. That app will allow you to connect with any of the student at designers whose garments you see tonight. We believe this is the first in the world of runway shows, so we say a great big thank you to Optimity for that. We're grateful, too, to Chicos, a longtime friend whose sponsorship this year brought us a video, uh, the video that we saw before the show. Um, and last but never least, I want to greet our students, alumni, and FIT fans, hundreds of thousands of them everywhere to whom we are live streaming this show in real time along with Vogue Runway. So a big hi, a big shout out out there. And now I thank you all again for being here with us tonight. And let's get on with this show. This year's theme is innovation, and you're not only seeing innovation in these incredible designs and on the runway, but you even saw innovation at the very start of this whole process when we created an augmented reality invitation. AR is kind of new and next, even in fashion, so it was a great way to tease up the theme of this year's show. I think at the heart of innovation is this intersection of art and design that projects like BioDesign embody, and this interdisciplinary confluence, which FIT is emerging as a leader and is the key to innovation. We always looked for the new technology that was available because it opened all these new doors and it allowed us to create things that were impossible. 3D printing has allowed us to use fabric and shape in what we call a 3D printed textile. And I think that's going to become a huge um, industry. I advise for fashion students to look into architect students or scientists and collaborate because they can get to a place that they probably never dreamt about. Our graduating students are the designers of tomorrow, so them going out into the industry with a strong awareness about sustainability, about possibilities in design that science affords us, that will really change the path the industry will take in the future. So I think I decided to go to FIT because the environment here was really, really inspiring and it felt challenging. The inspiration for my collection was the idea of dimensions and that you'd be able to see um, all perspectives at once. I'm trying to put the message out there that being vegan is not just for hippies. I kind of want it to be something that's cool because it is cool, because compassion is cool. I'm currently interning at Susanna Monaco. It's really great actually. I get to experience all kinds of aspects of the design industry, not just the design, but sales and technical. It's been a really great experience because I've been learning more than I bargained for. I've been at FIT for four years. I also did four years of free college here. FIT's been great with trying to help us find jobs. I'm at Fashion Snoops right now. Um, I've also worked at Ellie Sahari and Under Armour Children's. I think it's great to, you know, to have creativity, but also to know how to execute. I've had a lot of amazing interns join my team from FIT. It's reassuring for me to know that this next group of designers going out into the world really has an understanding of, of the skill and the craft. That's the foundation of this industry. Be yourself, have a point of view, do something because you truly believe in it, and we'll notice. It's a matter of you sort of developing a certain aesthetic, Every editor is very reachable, and social media, again, is democratizing fashion. If you are true to yourself and have this point of view, we will see it and we will want to cover you, we will want to shoot your clothes, we will want to talk to you. To me, a lot of these pieces, a majority of these pieces, are ready to walk out the door and be shown on a runway or sold in a store. And that's really exciting, you know? These, these are complete ideas. They actually made them very personal, very personal in how they're expressing their own voice. And I think that that is kind of an overarching theme as we see in the show and as we see today in this room. 
one of my illustration teachers at FIT constantly encouraged his classes to be out there, looking at things, going to museums. It's not only about what Vogue did, it's about what are you seeing at the Met? What's the latest thing that's happening at the FIT galleries? I mean, they, we utilize what's, what resources are there. Our mission here at the museum at FIT is to educate and inspire diverse audiences, and this especially applies to students. So we have an incredible study collection of over a thousand pieces where students can actually come inside a classroom and handle and examine everything from a Dior piece to a Fortuny dress. I see a lot of experimentation. I also see a lot of deconstruction. You know, after a long period of, you know, of pretty clothes, of sexy clothes, I think fashion is ready for this sort of this undone quality. The kids are very on trend in that in that sense. I think the FIT for me is the best fashion school, first of all. And second, the way it's run and the way these students are directed is really fascinating. I think it's very flattering when they ask you to mentor one of these young designers that are so talented. You learn from them and you give them just a little idea of where they should go, which I don't know really where we are going because fashion is a mystery for me still. <laughs> Fashion is an industry where new thinking is paramount to it moving forward. And I think that the innovation we're seeing through interesting new technology, it's really been a strong category here at FIT and certainly with the students' work this season. It's always exciting to return to FIT as a former student and remembering what it was like to have my work judged by the industry. I, I have a very soft spot in my heart, not only for the school, but certainly for students who are creating their work, because it's really putting your heart and soul in front of everyone.
To the runway, our Future of Fashion 2017 Student Award winners. The Erin Reckner Critic Award winner, Jonga Nicole Lee. The Peter Doe Critic Award winner, Samantha Kirshner.
the Chris Galanis Critic Award winner, Bria Hendrickson. The Sophie Thiele Critic Award winner, Jin Woo Hong. The Isabella Tonchi Critic Award winner, Selen Sahin. The Sander Luck Critic Award winner, Taylor Ormond. The Victoria Lamborn Critic Award winner, Alexandra Goshevsky. The Flora Gill Critic Award winner, Yekaterina Bermatnova. The Morgan Curtis Critic Award winner, Jin Young Kim. The Karen Sabag Critic Award winner, Carolina Sanz. Congratulations to all of our winners. On behalf of the Fashion Institute of Technology, our title sponsor, Calvin Klein Inc., the Calvin Klein Foundation, and Optimity Advisors, thank you for joining us in celebration of the future of fashion.